Hi Virgo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of January 8th through the 14th. This is for Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising signs. So Virgo, for this reading I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot deck along with the magical messages from the fairies, oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. Alright, so at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Knight of Pentacles. Alright, let's see here. So with the Knight of Pentacles, um, definitely some of you could be hearing something. News could be significant. There could be opportunities or offers coming in for some of you this week. This could be on the work front. Maybe some of you have like an opportunity to make a little extra money, something like that. Um, but you also could be hearing something. There could be some financial news that's coming in. Some good news. The overall energy is the Page of Rods. And oftentimes for me with the Page of Rods, this can be news that you're anticipating. It's exciting. You know it's, it's on its way, but you don't know exactly when it's coming in. So I think that some of you, you know, this week you're hearing, uh, you're hearing that, you're hearing that news, whatever it is you were waiting for. For some of you, it can even be a new fi like financial opportunity. There could be some Virgos that maybe you're starting something new. You could be taking like some sort of maybe risk financially, something like that. Um, you do have some majors here. You have some very powerful majors here. We're starting out with judgment and then you have the wheel of fortune. So uh, this is uh, pretty amazing. So with Judgment and the Wheel of Fortune, definitely there could be some Virgos that maybe you've been dealing with some divine timing, definitely higher forces at play here, things maybe divinely orchestrated um, taking place around you. There could be some Virgos that you've been noticing like a lot of synchronicities and things like that. With the Wheel of Fortune, this is a very blessed, fortunate energy. Both of these cards are karmic energies for me. So there could be some Virgos that you're reaping some karmic rewards this week, definitely. And you have some good news that's coming to you. This wheel is turning. Things are going in your favor. This could be some luck that's coming in for some of you. Um, because I see you manifesting here. I definitely see some of you maybe starting something new, starting like a new adventure, something like that. You have everything you need to be successful. Um, it's just about maybe time and the timing being right. And I feel like some of you, maybe previously, things have been progressing a little slowly, but with the Wheel of Fortune here, the timing is right now. So with judgment, <laughs> There could be some Virgos that you need to make an important decision. Again, there could be like an offer. There could be some sort of news or communication that's coming in. And maybe you have to make a decision about that and what you're going to do. Um, so for some of you, you know, it's, it's really on you whether or not, you know, you're going to accept this opportunity. And I think that some of you are, are definitely going to. You're going to grab this opportunity and you're going to definitely make it happen. Um, now the Ten of Swords here with Judgment. Um, some of you could have just went through a difficult time, a difficult cycle, a difficult period. The worst is definitely behind you. You're, you're, you're definitely uh, starting some new beginnings here. And with judgment, you know, this is you rising up from this. So no matter what you went through, it could have been betrayal, um, you know, just a difficult time. No matter what you went through, you are rising up. You are healing. You are overcoming this. And with starting something new here, there definitely could be some Virgos that you, you feel... You know, maybe you just feel recharged or revived in some way, um, ready to move forward, ready to leave the past behind. There could be some Virgos that maybe you receive some sort of closure about this because we have the Six of Cups here. And so, you know, you could have just dealt with a difficult situation um, this week. You could be hearing something about that. It could be bringing in some closure for, for you. Um, but we have the Six of Cups with the Sun. 
And so there could be some Virgos that maybe you have something going on uh, involving your children or children. And with judgment, maybe there are some Virgos that you could have, you know, been involved in like a custody battle or something like that. And so maybe this is the week that you're hearing something about that. For those of you that have a legal matter that's ongoing, that could be coming to an end. The sun is success, content, abundance. It is a healing energy. It's mirroring judgment. So I think that, you know, there definitely are some Virgos that, again, you're rising up from a difficult time. You're definitely healing from maybe a difficult period in your life. Maybe even went through some sort of um, health problems for some of you. But we have the Nine of Pentacles here. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Which the Nine of Pentacles for me, you know, obviously this is financial abundance. So, you know, I don't see any of you struggling, that's for sure, financially. Um, but this is also an independent energy. And I think with the Knight of Swords energy, I think that some of you, there could, you know, this could be a relationship matter for a very small number of you. This could be something going on in the love front. And the sun comes in and it highlights things, it illuminates things. So with this, you know, powerful energy here, again, there could be something uh, that you're finding out. There's some news. There could be definitely some clarity that's coming in for, for some of you. You could be seeing something. There could be closure coming in. Could be around a relationship matter if it's nothing to do with your children or a legal matter or anything job related, it could be something on the relationship front. The Knight of Swords energy is that very hasty energy. So this could be happening very quickly um, or all of a sudden for some of you. And for those of you that, you know, this is something job related, I feel like this is very positive. Um, you could be in the spotlight in some way. Um, you know, maybe you're kind of tossed into the spotlight at work in some way, but I think that, you know, you're going to handle it uh, very well. Um, some of you are shining bright. A lot of success coming through for you. So, you know, emotionally, I think it's going to be a great week for you. Financially, I think it's going to be a great week for you. And I see many of you rising up from some sort of difficult period. And, you know, it's all about new beginnings, starting over for some of you. So let's let's pull you an additional guidance card. Overall, I think it's going to be a great week. Virgo, additional guidance for Virgo for this upcoming week. You could be hearing from an ear sign person. So uh, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius could be, you know, someone that you're hearing from. Could be a significant person. Virgo, additional... Okay, that's interesting. The card that flipped over is children. So children, your connection with children is part of your life's purpose. So some of you that I'm reading for, it's definitely a matter involving your children with the Six of Cups, the Sun, and now the children card. There's a situation going on with your children. Uh, but I feel like all is all is well. There's nothing to worry about. Maybe some of you have been going through like a custody battle or something like that. But with the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, you know, I, I feel like things are going to go well for you. There could definitely be some 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 positive developments here this week. Okay, Virgo. Uh, for those of you, it's not a legal matter. Uh, you might have an important decision to make about your children. Uh, your children could just be very significant this week. Maybe you're, you're doing something for your children. You could be starting something with your children or for your children. 
Uh, if you don't have children, you know, this could also be nieces or nephews that are significant here this week. Okay, Virgo, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you're interested in having a private reading with me, please check out northeasttower.com. I do wish you a wonderful week.